I ask for a favor, please make this channel popular, subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below whatever your opinion is about this video. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell to always get notification anytime we upload a new video. Welcome back to MJ Fun TV. Currently trending on all social media platforms is the news and the cause of the death of Ada Eme, Nollywood actress who died on Monday, July 18th, 2022. Her death was confirmed after she was reportedly rushed to the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NMPC's hospital in Delta State. According to reports we have gathered so far, Ada Eme actually slumped on July 18th and died after she was rushed to the hospital. She was confirmed dead. Ade a popular Nollywood actress who also featured in the Johnsons died of depression from the loss of her daughter. She not only lost her daughter but she also lost six of her family members including her father. Ade Eme was a popular Nollywood actress, comedian, producer and television personality. She is a native of Idoma in Benue State. Ame became famous following the role she plays as Anita in the movie Domitila in 1996. She again gained the spotlight for her comic character as Emu Johnson in the Africa Magic sitcom program, The Johnsons. Ademe was born in May 15, 1974 in Ajekunle, Lagos State. This means at the time of her death on July 18, 2022, she was 48 years old. According to reports, Ame received her primary and secondary education in Lagos State but eventually quit school at the age of 14. So guys, Ada Eme actually quit school at the age of 14 because she got pregnant while she was still 13. This was a result of exposure, early exposure as a child. She eventually joined the Nigerian movie industry, Nollywood, in 1995, but got her first role in 1996 where she played the character Anita in the movie Domitila. Over the years, Ada Ame featured in different movies and comedy skits. About Ada Ame's husband and children, there is no report of any husband of Ada Ame who she ever got married to, but she was pregnant for her daughter, Aladi Godgift, at the age of 13, and this resulted from early exposure to early sex. Though Ada Ame actually has a boyfriend now that she's grown up before her death, there is actually no report of any husband of Adaime. So guys, for those of you who do not know, two years ago, October 2020, Adaime actually lost her only daughter, Aladdin gave to the Enters protest carried out by the Nigerian youth. The government actually did a lot of terrible things to the citizens. Through this entered protest, she lost her only child, Aladdin God gave, and since then, she has never been the same. She made a post on June 15, 2022, after she claimed that she was being sued for a client for failing to deliver due to her mental illness. According to her, she wasn't feeling very well and she was having some mental issues that she needed urgent attention. And because of this, she was not able to carry out everything for the client in question. And this client actually sued her for not keeping to the agreement. She came out and was lamenting about everything but she also said that it's going to be alright and that she would not die. In the video which she captioned, do me good because God is good. She said, I have an issue right now and it's taking my life but I know good die. We would get over it. I was given a job but I didn't do it because I have mental health issues. 
Will people understand it if you tell them you have mental issues? No, they wouldn't. They are slamming me with a bill, suing me. It's okay. So guys, this was what Adaime said in the video she made on all social media platforms, which we are also going to be dropping here. After Adaime made this post on her social media handle about her health, a lot of people started disturbing Empress Njama, her fellow actress, friend and colleague, to update them on Adaime's health. According to what Empress Njama posted on her social media handle, she said, all we say is thanks for all your prayers, encouragement, love, sweet words, advice, calls, messages. We can only keep praying. I didn't ignore all your talks. I have been babysitting. Or should I say adult sitting? According to Adame, it is well. Who no go, no, no. It will pass. So guys, this was what Empress actually said just few days ago, June 15th, about this whole thing. And on June 18th, we are hearing that this woman, this wonderful actress, Adame, who lost her family members and a lot of people in her life is actually dead. Though there has been no autopsy about Adaime's death, her sudden death may not be unconnected with the many trials that she has gone through. The actress went through hell and battled with mental health issues long before she finally gave up the ghost. She had been undergoing mental health challenges silently until she finally opened up about it. On the 20th day of October 2020, she lost her daughter, her only child, who was over 30 years old. Aladi died after an unsuccessful surgery in Abuja. The actress visited her daughter's grave site last year, 2021, to mark her one-year remembrance. She also celebrated her daughter on the latest birthday. After 2020, she lost six of her siblings. Yes, guys, after 2020, this actress actually lost six of her siblings, three brothers and three sisters. And after that, she started battling with depression. In March of 2022, she lost another sister. Guys, this lady has been losing so many of her family members, like six siblings gone in the blink of an eye right after the death of her daughter. Ademe's story is really a very painful one, a very, very painful one at that. Just on July 17, 2022, she made a post on her Instagram handle of her eating a delicious soup with her family, which included her darling sister Phil, around 12.53 p.m. on Sunday. July 17, 2022, that was when she made this video, in the afternoon of July 17th, and the next early morning of July 18th, we are hearing that she is no more. In the video, she said, Happy New Week, fams. This trip for my friend's elder sister is just an enjoyment galore. Thanks, my darling sister, Phil. I really enjoyed myself. God bless you, my love. May your dreams come true in Jesus' mighty name. So guys, this was actually the last post of this wonderful actress, Adaime. This great lady. It's such a pity that she is no more. We pray that her soul may continue to rest in perfect peace and that everyone may be consoled, especially her very good friend, Empress, who really tried everything she could to help this lady. Rest in peace, Ademe. Rest in the bottom of the Lord. Rest in perfect peace. Thank you so much, guys, for staying with us to this point in the video. I'm going to be dropping a lot of video clips of Ademe speaking on her health issues and also of her talking about everything, even her in the airport and all the videos she actually posted. Please stay to the end to watch everything. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button, give a thumbs up to this video, comment down your views. Thank you so much, guys, and see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Hello. You know the sound. Farm South Farm. <laughs> Everything is going to be fine. Yeah, I have an issue right now. And it's taking my life. I'm not going to die. We'll get over it. We'll get over it. I was given a job. I didn't do the job because I had mental issues. Would people understand when you say you have mental issues? They won't. They are slamming me with a bill, suing me. It's okay. It's okay.
I'm doing video for you. Yo. You bad on my road. You bad on my road. No, not by. Ah, who wants to die for here again? Beautiful. I went to just do some little touch up on my hair shouts now. Everybody was shouted. Ah ah is this emo? Ah ah are you this beautiful? La? And I said, yeah man, I am a fine girl. Happy weekend everybody. Is it happy weekend? Did that just happy weekend? Happy new week everybody and God's blessings. Love you all. Mwah. Hold on, may I call you back? Already let me know. Me? Mm -hmm. Wala Bilai Jukubedo, it's so sad to announce the passing of actress Adame. She died um yesterday in Delta State. This is really sad. This woman has been through a lot. She died in Delta State. She's just 48 years old. This woman has been going through a lot ever since her daughter died in 2020, October 2020. She lost her only child and she has complained about badly mental illness. Now she lost it finally. She slumped while uh, visiting um, someone in uh, Delta State and then she was rushed to the hospital and then she was confirmed dead at the age of 48 years old. This is really, really sad. She's one of my favorites from the days of Domitilla. Ah. May I so rest in peace. This is really, really a sad news. I just saw a post two days ago. Oh, my, it is well, Lou. It is well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Happy weekend, fans. Here. Here. Bring that your face. Come here, Yeah, yeah. I am in the TVC right yeah. now for an interview. Yeah. <laughs> so this girl just helped me to do my makeup yeah, in, you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh my god this yeah. bureau is so beautiful oh yeah that's a grace you're beautiful yeah. like. yeah. one and not go for me because my <laughs> one time I did it. What's that? happy weekend fans yes, happy i'm in month. tvc happy new month happy new month the seventh month is a month of perfection everything concerning our life will be perfected unto righteousness happy new month everybody I'm in TVC, going on air very soon. <laughs> okay, um, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Happy weekend, everybody. I love you all. Mwah, mwah. Thank you so much for watching this video. For daily entertainment, news, and celebrity good and bad updates, and all you need to know that's happening in the country, don't forget to hit this red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to always stay connected to us. One love and God bless you all. Don't forget to thumbs up to this video and comment down below what you think.